And I finally, one day I got upset. I said, well, when are you going to teach me about money? He says, what do you think we're doing? <laughs> we're playing Monopoly. He goes, no, 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 no. What do you think we're doing? We're playing Monopoly. He says, what do you think we're doing? So I don't know. I'm teaching about money. Most of us don't have millions sitting around to invest in real estate or fancy startups. But what if there was a way to get all of the benefits of ownership without ever touching your own cash? Robert Kiyosaki, the rich dad himself, unveils some secrets of successful investors who started with zero money. And in this video, we are about to share those very secrets with you guys. So stick around to become a lazy investor and watch your wealth grow on autopilot. Number 1. Leveraging Other People's Resources when it comes to gaining financial freedom, mastering the art of leveraging other people's resources can be a total game changer. This approach, popularized by financial guru Robert Kiyosaki, is all about tapping into external assets, skills, and opportunities to make money without shelling out a ton of cash up front. In this guide, we're diving deep into the nitty-gritty of how to leverage other people's resources to build wealth and achieve that sweet, sweet financial independence. At its core, leveraging other people's resources is about making the most of external assets, talents, and networks to create value and bring in the dough. It's like breaking through the barrier of limited personal capital and tapping into a whole world of resources out there in the marketplace. Whether you're teaming up with investors, diving into crowdfunding, or tapping into existing networks, the key is spotting those golden opportunities for collaboration and resource sharing. Step one in this whole shebang is spotting those chances to team up and partner with others. That means really getting a handle on your own strengths, weaknesses, and goals, and then taking a good hard look at what's happening in the market. Opportunities can come in all shapes and sizes, whether it's joint ventures, strategic alliances, or pooling resources with others. By hunting down those synergies and finding partners who bring something new to the table, you're setting yourself up for success while keeping risks in check. But here's where the magic happens. Building those strategic relationships and partnerships. That means getting out there and rubbing elbows with folks who have the resources, skills, or connections you need to make things happen. Whether you're cozying up to mentors, teaming up with industry big shots, or getting in on collabs with fellow entrepreneurs, building a strong network can open doors to a whole world of opportunities for sharing and collaboration. When it comes time to seal the deal, nailing those negotiations is key. That means hammering out deals that work for everyone involved with clear expectations, defined roles, and mechanisms for keeping everyone on track. By keeping things transparent, building trust, and keeping those lines of communication wide open, you're laying the groundwork for long-term partnerships that drive value and growth for all parties involved. Once those partnerships are locked in, it's all about making the most of the resources you've got on hand, whether that means bringing in outside experts, outsourcing tasks that aren't your jam, or using tech to streamline your workflow. The name of the game is efficiency. By tapping into the skills and expertise of your partners, you're freeing up your own time and energy to focus on the stuff that really moves the needle. And as your ventures grow and evolve, being able to scale up and diversify is key. Leveraging other people's resources lets you cast a wider net, break into new markets, and pursue multiple income streams all at once. Whether you're copying successful business models, teaming up with investors who share your vision, or branching out into new industries, Strategic resource allocation is your ticket to long-term growth and resilience in a constantly changing marketplace. And to really drive the point home, we're diving into real-world case studies and success stories from across the board. From startups scoring funding from angel investors to real estate pros partnering up with construction firms, these examples show just how powerful collaboration and resource sharing can be when it comes to building a successful business and creating wealth. Number two, education and skill development. 
So over my lifetime, most of the projects I, I've started, I've, I've never had any money. I, I like not having money because it forces me to think. I get creative. I have to educate myself. I have to talk to rich guys. Hey, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? How'd you do that? And what has happened to me, I mean, I just turned 72. I've never needed money. Education and skill building aren't just about hitting the books or sitting in a classroom. It's a whole journey of growth and development that spans different areas like formal education, self-guided learning, hands-on experience, and finding mentors. At the core of it all is the hunger for knowledge and the quest to acquire practical skills that are in demand in today's market. By investing in our smarts, we can boost our earning potential, open up new career paths, and ultimately gain financial freedom. So where does this journey begin? Well, first off, it's about knowing what we want and where we need to grow. We've got to take stock of our skills, figure out what we're passionate about, and pinpoint areas where we could use some extra polish to reach our financial goals. This might mean doing some self-reflection, asking for advice from folks who've been there, or keeping an eye on what's hot in our industry. And while hitting the books at a traditional school can be super helpful, there are tons of other ways to level up too. Online courses, workshops, or even just diving into self-study materials have become big players in the game. They're flexible, accessible, and let us learn at our own pace, fitting into our busy lives like a glove. By mixing and matching these different learning styles, we can tailor make our education to fit our needs like a glove. But learning doesn't stop when we toss our caps in the air. It's a lifelong journey of growth and improvement. Staying sharp means staying ahead of the curve. Constantly seeking out new challenges and experiences that push us to be better. And when it comes to deciding whether to specialize in one area or dip our toes into a bunch of different fields, well, that's a personal call. Specializing can make us the go-to person in our niche, while diversifying lets us roll with the punches and explore new paths as they come. Number three, crowdfunding, peer-to-peer -peer lending, and creative financing. You know, I made the, my usual wise-ass remark, only lazy people use their own money. And that's because I have spent much of my life raising capital. You know, today you have crowdfunding and all that stuff. When it comes to building wealth, traditional banking isn't the only game in town anymore. Innovative financing methods like crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending have shaken up the scene, offering folks new ways to get the capital they need to kickstart their dreams. These methods, championed by financial gurus like Robert Kiyosaki, aren't just for big-shot investors. They're leveling the playfield for everyday folks looking to make their mark on the world. Take crowdfunding, for example. It's become a real game changer in recent years, letting entrepreneurs raise money from lots of people, usually through online platforms. This means you can put your idea out there, whether it's a new product, a creative project, or a social cause, and rally support from folks who believe in what you're doing. It's like skipping the stuffy bank and getting a leg up straight from your community. Then there's peer-to-peer -peer lending, another disruptor in the finance world. Instead of going through a bank, borrowers connect directly with individual investors online, cutting out the middleman and getting better rates in the process. It's a win-win, offering lower interest rates for borrowers and higher returns for investors, all with a lot more transparency and flexibility than you'd find at a traditional bank. But it doesn't stop there. Creative financing is all about thinking outside the box and finding new ways to fund your dreams. Whether it's revenue-based financing where businesses pay back investors based on future earnings, or strategic partnerships and bartering arrangements, there's a whole world of alternative funding out there waiting to be explored. Sure, these methods come with their own set of risks and challenges, from regulatory hurdles to the ever-changing landscape of the market. But for those willing to roll up their sleeves and dive in, crowdfunding Peer-to-peer -peer lending and creative financing offer a whole new frontier of opportunity where anyone with a good idea and a little hustle can turn their dreams into reality. Number four, asset accumulation and cash flow. And, and, and it's really quite simple. You have to find an asset that's worth more than me. You know, if they can't invest in me because that's called slavery. 
When it comes to building wealth and achieving financial freedom, it's all about the art of asset accumulation and cash flow management. This approach, championed by financial guru Robert Kiyosaki, puts the spotlight on acquiring income-generating assets that can churn out passive income streams over time. By diversifying your portfolio with a mix of assets like real estate, stocks, bonds, and intellectual property, you can lay the groundwork for a solid financial future. Real estate is a classic choice for building up your asset stash. Whether you're dabbling in rental properties, commercial spaces, or real estate investment trusts (REITs), diving into the property game can offer both juicy rental income and potential appreciation over the long haul. Plus, with financing options like mortgages, you can leverage your investments to supercharge your returns and grow your wealth faster. Stocks and equities are another key player in the wealth-building game. By jumping into the stock market and snagging shares of dividend-paying companies, you can rake in regular cash dividends while also riding the wave of stock price growth. And don't forget to spread your bets across different sectors to cushion yourself against market ups and downs. Bonds and fixed income securities are like the steady eddy of your investment lineup. With government bonds, corporate bonds, and municipal bonds, you can count on regular investment payments and capital preservation, offering a nice counterbalance to riskier assets in your portfolio. And let's not overlook the power of intellectual property. Whether it's patents, trademarks, or copyrights, investing in your creative brain children can pay off big time with licensing deals, royalties, and sales. Plus, once you've got a winning idea, you can replicate it and license it out to multiple parties, turning your brain power into a passive income machine. But remember, building a rock-solid portfolio isn't just about throwing money at random investments. It takes careful planning, research, and risk management to strike the right balance for your financial goals. So take the time to assess your objectives, tolerance for risk, and investment horizon, and craft a customized strategy that sets you up for success. And don't forget to keep an eye on your investments, adjusting your portfolio as needed to stay on track and keep the wealth flowing. Number 5. Network and Relationship Building Networking and building relationships are game changers when it comes to chasing financial success. It's all about forming connections, finding collaborations, and creating opportunities that can take you places, even if you don't have a ton of cash to start with. At the heart of it all is building a circle of folks who share your goals and values. That means seeking out mentors, partners, and peers who bring something unique to the table. Whether it's skills, knowledge, or resources that complement your own. Whether you're mingling at networking events, joining industry groups, or just tapping into your existing connections, expanding your network is key. But here's the thing. It's not just about what you can get from others. Building real relationships is all about being genuine, trustworthy, and focused on adding value to the folks around you. Instead of treating networking like a transaction, think of it as building friendships where everyone's got each other's backs. That might mean offering a helping hand, sharing insights, or just being there to support others, knowing that down the line, those good deeds can come back to you in spades. Mentorship is a huge part of this too. Finding someone who's been there, done that, and can offer you guidance and wisdom is like hitting the jackpot. With the right mentor by your side, you can sidestep common pitfalls, pick up valuable lessons, and fast-track your journey to success. And let's not forget about strategic partnerships. Teaming up with others who bring different strengths and resources to the table can be a game-changer. Whether it's through formal agreements or joint ventures, partnering up can help you reach new heights and tap into opportunities you never could have accessed on your own. But it's not just about who you know, it's also about who knows you. That's why it's important to connect with industry influencers, thought leaders, and decision makers. Engaging with these movers and shakers can help you build your reputation, gain insider insights, and open doors to exciting new opportunities. So that's all for this video. We will be back with another amazing video to boost your wealth. So stay tuned.